Hey, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever had the problem that your Tesla app says charge rate reduced, wall plug temperature high, wall outlet and wiring inspection recommended? If you have seen that message before, your NEMA 1450 50 amp outlet overheats. And a few days ago, I actually purchased what I think is the solution for it. I just noticed yesterday that my friend Justin Bearded Tesla actually published a video about the same thing, which is crazy. But today I am actually going to be installing my own NEMA 1450 outlet replacement. Today's video is sponsored by my friend Christopher Lee Jones, author of the book Mars Mission 1, Surviving the Kessler Effect. Let's get to the video. This is the old outlet that I have, along with a high power wall connector. But this one has been overheating. And the reason for that, I believe, is because these ones are just standard NEMA 1450 outlets. And in theory, you should be able to use that. In fact, I have been using it for a long time. But it seems like the problem is that the connectors here on the back of the outlet, as well as the actual outlet itself, since it's not made to be disconnected and reconnected many times, and the long-term electricity loads that this gets, in time, it just wears out a little bit. So you're gonna see the temperature overheating and your charge rate being reduced. So the solution for that that I found is this one. This one is a Leviton, 50 amp NEMA 1450 wall outlet that is built specifically for EVs. It even has like a little green car there. And as you can see, if you compare both side by side, you can see that this one, the new one, is beefier. It's a little bit, uh, it actually feels stronger. And uh, you can actually compare the dimensions. This one is actually bigger. They build it with better materials uh, to withstand the high electricity loads as well as disconnection and reconnection of your mobile charger here. Since my wall connector was already installed in an industrial box and the new one, the diameter is bigger than the old one, I made sure that I replace, I'm going to replace the wall plate with one where my outlet actually fits through it. Okay. So with that being said, let's go replace this unit into the box that's in my garage, put the plate on it and test it and see if we have that problem again. Well, as you can see, the connection was successful. I was able to energize the outlet and we have power. So now I am just going to connect one of my cars to it and see how it goes. Now, I am not an electrician. I had the original installation done by a professional and I am simply replacing the wall outlet. That's all I did. So I basically put the wires in the same place that, that they were on the old one on the new outlet. That way it just works. So uh, of course I made sure that I disconnected the uh, electricity to it by shutting off the breaker and uh, everything seems to be working fine. So. I'm gonna let the car charge for a while. I don't watch much television, but today is a qualifying of the Formula One race. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy that uh, and see how it goes. 
after an hour or two. Yep, we have a good outlet connection. Hopefully this is going to be a somewhat permanent fix for this particular connection that I have here. Well, there you have it. It seems to be working just fine. I'm gonna give it a few days. If I have any issues, then I may need to inspect the rest of the wiring on my wall. But I don't think I'm gonna have any more problems because this is very common and that is one of the easiest solutions for it. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Cheers.